Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sunday meal prep video. On the menu this week for meal prep, I am doing my blueberry pancake bake. Haven't done that one in a long time. And for lunch prep, I'm doing Italian chicken roll-ups. So if you're new to my channel, I currently follow the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs. I will also list the recipes down in the description box below. So if you're not following WW, you can go there and find out the nutrition facts as well. In the description box will also be some items of things that you may see me using in the meal preps. I do try to include those in the description box each week. And as far as meal prep, I'm meal prepping for two people. For my husband and I, I usually just meal prep three days. So usually I do six breakfasts and six lunches. So we each have them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the end of the week we usually do something different. So if you want to come along and see how I meal prep for my husband and I for the week, then stay with me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Going to do a very quick meal prep this week so I am doing my blueberry pancake bake I have not made this one honestly I think in almost a year it's been a long time this one is super easy I have sprayed a 9 by 13 pan with some cooking spray I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees now I'm just gonna mix everything together I'm using Kodiak cakes this is the buttermilk kind and I'm going to use two cups and I've mentioned this before when you're using powder I would highly suggest weighing it if you have a scale you're gonna need two cups of this but as you can see the two cup line is up there so there's a little bit there that's not I'm not sure how good you can see that the two cup line doesn't show very good it's right like right there so when you weigh it it's definitely more accurate but if you don't have a scale just measure it and I would say just put a little bit less than the two cup mark the next thing I'm going to put in here is one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and also one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We also need two ripe bananas, which these look pretty bad because they were in my freezer. When my bananas start going bad, I just put them in a bag, mark it, and put them in my freezer. But they do brown, so they don't look very appealing. And then the next thing we're going to need is one egg. And one and a half cups of unsweetened almond milk. I'm actually using vanilla flavor because I don't have any regular almond milk. So one and a half cups. I really don't like this measuring cup. It's hard to see. And then just whisk that all together. Now this is actual pancake flavor, so there's not a lot of sweetness to this. So if you wanted sweetness, you could add some type of sweetener to it. I don't add anything more besides the bananas just because we use syrup on it. All right, I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to use some blueberries. <laughs> I actually... I don't know why the lighting seems dark right there. I actually uh, got some berries from the farmer's market. If you watched my meal plan and my farmer's market haul, you may have seen the great big haul that I got with the fruits and vegetables. They look so good. So I've already washed all these. I've had them just kind of sitting in my fridge. We've been nibbling on them. But I'm going to just pull out to the recipe calls for a cup of blueberries. You can put however much you want in there. So I'm just going to pull out some blueberries from here. You can also top it with blueberries when you're done as well. And actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put blueberries in it and then I'm going to, I might top it with some strawberries. That actually sounds good. And now I really wish I had some whipped topping. Uh, strawberries and Cool Whip would be good on them. Okay, we've got about a cup there. So now we're just going to fold those into the bake. And then we're going to just pour it right into our pan. I 
And like I said, I sprayed this pan with cooking spray. And if you want, you can top it with some additional cinnamon. All right, this is going to go in the oven for about 30 minutes. All right, everyone, we're moving on to lunch. For lunch this week, we are having Italian chicken roll-ups with broccoli, and I have my broccoli wash. I bought some broccoli at the farmer's market and didn't realize that I already still had some. So I have quite a bit of broccoli and I don't want it to go bad. So for the chicken, I've actually already prepared that. Let me show you. I have them already packaged. These have been sitting in my freezer. If you watched last week's meal prep, you may have seen me putting together a dinner kit for the chicken. And what I did is I made enough for eight and then we had two that night. They are so good. And then I froze six of them. So that way they're already, they have the breading, they already have the ham and cheese inside, and now all I have to do is bake them. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna bake them or if I'm gonna throw them in my air fryer. I already have my oven on, so I'm kinda thinking that I'm just gonna bake these ones. But normally if I didn't already have my oven on, then I would just put them in the air fryer for maybe about 15 minutes. I'm gonna be just cutting the broccoli up and throwing it in my steam pot here. I'm actually gonna steam this in, in the instant pot. So while I'm cutting this up, I'm gonna break away and let you watch the video from last week that I put together to show you how to get the chicken to this point. And then I'll come back to you. So, this is actually a meal kit that I put together on Meal Prep Sunday this past week. This is for Italian chicken roll-ups with ranch cauliflower. We're having this for dinner tonight. And I'm also making enough for eight. So as far as the chicken, I'm gonna make eight portions for chicken so that way we have two portions tonight and then I will roll six of them, put them in my freezer and then Sunday when I do meal prep, I'm gonna pull those from the freezer and bake them and meal prep is gonna be a lot easier. So let me pull out everything in my kit. So I have eight slices of thin deli ham. I have eight slices of Sargento ultra thin provolone. The website I got this from is Taste of Home so I'm gonna link you to their website on that recipe they use four slices of provolone cut into half but because I'm using the ultra thin I'm using a whole one for each chicken and then in this bag is one third cup of panko bread crumbs one third cup of regular seasoned bread crumbs a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and a quarter cup of fresh parsley so you can use two thirds of a cup of any bread crumbs that you want and then the other thing on their website, it calls for a half a cup of milk to dip the chicken in. I'm not gonna use the milk, I'm actually going to brush the chicken with mustard. That is completely your choice. So I'm just gonna put the breadcrumbs in a dish. Okay, so for the chicken, I have eight pieces of chicken breast. And each chicken breast, it's about four ounces each. I'm on blue, so for me, chicken breast is zero. So if you're on green, you would definitely wanna weigh out each of your chicken breasts. Okay, so I've just done my two chicken breasts that I'm having for dinner. Now, this is the part that I'm gonna do for lunch. So I'm gonna get these prepped, put them in my freezer until Sunday. So I'm putting some salt and pepper on them. And then I have my cheese, my ham, and my breadcrumb mixture. So now I'm just gonna put the ham slices on top of each chicken breast. And then I'm gonna put a piece of cheese. I'm gonna leave those, as you can see, they're wider. I'm gonna actually fold the cheese in there. So I'm gonna put the cheese like that and then fold the ham over it. Then I'm going to roll it from the short end. Just like so. So I'll go through and put the rest together. All right, 
So now I'm gonna brush them with mustard. Like I said, if you rather use milk to dip them in, you certainly can do that. All right. Now we're gonna roll them each in the breadcrumbs. You don't even have to really roll them. You can kind of just top the breadcrumbs in them. And as you can see, we're gonna end up with a lot more breadcrumbs than we need. So, sometimes what I will do is weigh out the breadcrumbs, weigh or measure them, whatever I have left, and then I deduct that from my recipe and see if I end up with less points. So the points on this recipe are gonna be four points for blue and purple and six points for green. But, like I said, with all this breadcrumbs we have left, that may lower the points. And I guarantee you it's going to. So we have a lot left. So I use half a cup of Parmesan and two-thirds of a cup of breadcrumbs. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to measure that out and see what I have left in there. All right, so let me get my hands washed real quick. All right. Let's see what we've got here. All right, so we have about a half a cup left. So I think what I'll do is take away a quarter of a cup of breadcrumbs and a quarter of a cup of Parmesan, and I'll see what that does. All right, so now we're going to move that aside and get our cling wrap, our plastic wrap. And we're just gonna go through and wrap each one up. And you wanna try to wrap it tight so that it all stays together. You can either wrap the sides in or twist them. So that is it. Those are going in the freezer and I will come back to you on Sunday and show you how we bake them. Now that you have seen how we get them to this point, so you probably saw in there that the topping for that made way too much. It's probably because the website I got it from is not a WW website, so they're not real careful with how much they use of everything. So I did end up reducing the amount. So I, next time, will just put one quarter of a cup of Parmesan and one third of a cup total of the breadcrumbs. So by reducing that, it did take a point away. So for these, there are gonna be three points on blue and purple and five points on green. So basically what I did is took these out of the freezer last night. I put them in the fridge overnight, let them on thaw, took them out. They were still a little bit frozen, so I just let them sit and unthaw for a little bit before I started meal prep. So as you can see, I have these on a baking sheet. I've lined it with aluminum foil and sprayed it with some cooking spray. And now I'm just gonna spritz the tops with some olive oil. So they're gonna go in the oven now, 425 degrees for about 30 minutes. And in the meantime, I have my broccoli in my steamer basket. I'm gonna get that going in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna put in about a cup of water. I'm gonna get the top on there. Get it locked, make sure it's in airtight and I'm gonna set it for three minutes. So three minutes and then I'm gonna do a quick release. All right, three minutes is up, so I'm doing a quick release. So after that's done, I'm just gonna let those sit and cool down. 
All right, so pancake bake is set aside. That's pretty much just about cooled. I went ahead and cut up some strawberries just to put with it. And now I'm gonna portion out the syrup. So this is log cabin sugar-free syrup. So for this one, the serving size on this is two tablespoons, which is 30 milliliters, and you can have that for zero points. But you could actually have 49 milliliters for zero points. So that's what I'm going to put in there. So I'm gonna just go through and portion out my syrup. We're gonna see what 49 milliliters looks like. All right, 49. So that's how much we have. Actually, I'm gonna cut this into six. So I usually just cut it in half this way. And then cut it into thirds, the best I can estimate. And then what I usually do is cut those pieces again. So it's kind of like each serving is gonna have two pieces. So I'm really cutting it into 12. So I'm gonna finish weighing out the syrup and then portion everything into my containers. These are so good. All right, so I'm gonna set those aside. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is portion out some barbecue sauce for the lunches. So I'm gonna use some sugar-free G. Hughes barbecue sauce. You can actually have three tablespoons of this for zero points. And I'm just gonna use this kind for me. My husband prefers the Sweet Baby Ray's. So usually when we do barbecue chicken, we prefer to use Sweet Baby Ray's. But if I'm just dipping it in barbecue sauce, then I don't mind the G Hughes. But my husband wants the Sweet Baby Ray's. So his will be more points. For this one, you can have 22 grams for two points. And then, like I said, three tablespoons, which I'm gonna have to weigh that out. Three tablespoons is actually gonna be 45 grams of the G Hughes. And the way I'm gonna be able to tell them apart is because the G Hughes is a little bit darker. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the broccoli in each container. All right, now I'm just gonna wait for the chicken to get done and put those in there. All right, everyone, so the chicken is done. I'm telling you, these are so good. So I actually only cooked them for about 25 minutes in my oven because we're gonna be reheating them. I wanted to just leave a little bit of time. So again, this is something that it just depends on your oven as to how long it cooks. And you have to make sure because the cheese can sometimes ooze out and we definitely don't want to leave any cheese sitting on there. All 
All right. I have no dinners to prep this week because I'm doing an easy week. I am supposed to be going back into the office this week, not working from home. So I'm trying to keep it a really easy week using a lot of uh, freezer meals that I had already in my freezer. And for snacks, I have what's left of the fruit. I also have some bananas, I have pudding, and I have, of course, we have popcorn also. So I'm gonna show you, just put this on the table and go over the points with you. All right, everyone. So this is meal prep this week. So this is our blueberry pancake bake. This is three points on all programs. I have some strawberries there and zero points worth of sugar-free syrup. And then our lunches, I have broccoli and I'll, I'll just be spraying these with some spray butter and the chicken. So these are the Italian chicken roll-ups. Like I said, we did make these for dinner last week. They are really good. So by throwing away a lot of the breading for these, these ended up being three points for blue and purple and five points on green. So this one is actually my husband's. You can tell because the barbecue sauce, the Sweet Baby Ray's is a lot brighter, I guess, in color. So my husband has two points worth of Sweet Baby Ray's and then uh, plus he's on blue, so three points for the chicken. So his lunches are going to be five points. Mine are just going to be three points because I have the zero points of the barbecue, the G Hughes, and then my chicken. You can really see what they look like right there. So my lunch is going to be three points. So it's going to be three points for my breakfast and three points for my lunch. And then I have my fruit over there. We still have some fruit left in the fruit bowl and some bananas. And like I said, no dinners to prep this week. All right, everyone, that's it for meal prep this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. I will see you all in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy.